Hey guys, whack, uh, whack. <laughs> hey guys, back with another video, Carl's Garage. So I've got two comments right here. My latest video that I just put out, must watch helping people get their engines replaced because they were denied. I'm, I'm like this on the thumbnail. Definitely go check that out. Definitely go consider the book that I have out there helping people out. But these two ladies, I've seen God's timing before. I've seen her before uh, comment on a lot of my videos. So I'm actually going to read to you guys her comment because she's having a very specific issue. And it's crazy. I feel they just keep taking advantage of people. So I'm going to answer you right now, God's time. I'm going to read read to you guys the comment and then I'm going to answer it. So I, I do it like a lot of drive. I'm really never home even with my business. But I said, you know what? I'm here at a Target parking lot. I'm like, let me look at the views. And this video is doing well. It's already at 78 views, which is a lot for this channel because I'm still growing it. This isn't my main straight of the content channel where I have almost 30,000 subscribers. So everybody out there, please, if you guys could go, if you could subscribe to this channel to get it up so I can help these people out. So let me go ahead and let me get into it. So God's timing, one hour ago, she said, hi, Carl, my name is Dawn and I took my car to the dealership. And like I've stated before, I did everything I was supposed to do. I took my car to, to get the KSDS update. I took my maintenance records to the dealership and I was... Uh, still denied. Now she has her KSDS, she was still denied. But I read this already before I'm here on video and I'm gonna tell you what she was denied about because this is the trick, right? This is the trick that they do. So she says, uh, I took my maintenance records to the dealership and I was still denied because I was told that the issue with my car has nothing to do with the bottom of my engine. This is true, this is true. This is not a denial. This is, we want, we can't replace your engine unless it blows. Uh, uh, fortunately, you are not being screwed and the dealership is not screwing you in this specific situation. She says, I was told that they heard noise knocking on the top of my engine. This is true. This is very true. This is very accurate. These cars, those cars that theta 2 engine and even my Lexus right here, a lot of these newer cars are direct injected. So that means that they have more than one uh, piece of hardware that is used to force fuel into the cylinders. And our cars have what's called a high pressure fuel pump. So you have the normal one that's in the back of your car that sends the fuel from the tank to the engine. And then you have another one that sits on top, a very high pressure fuel pump, and it ticks. Tick, 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 tick. And what it's doing is it's sending fuel to each cylinder. But those fail a lot, especially in Hyundai vehicles. Those things fail all the time. They fail all the time. So you will think that you have an issue with your car and you will actually hear a loud ticking and it could sound like a knocking, but it's actually not the rod bearing issue. So let me continue to read. So she says, um, the mechanic also stated that he had used a, a stethoscope uh, to hear the knocking in my engine. And he said that the noise was coming from the top of the engine. This is true. This happens all the time. Uh, the mechanic also told me that my car erased the code itself so I can at least drive it back home. And yes, my car went back into limp mode. Your car's not going into limp mode. Your car is going into fuel starvation mode. That's different. So yes, it is still a form of limp mode, but it's not it's not the true limp mode that's gonna go that it's gonna go into in this other girl's card that I'll that I'm about to read. So if you go to the, to this last video that I just posted before this one, you will see these ladies two comments. I won't respond to them. I mean, I will respond to them, but I'm just gonna tell them that their answer is in this video right here. Um, so at least I can drive it back into limp. Uh, uh, onto limp mode, the code is showing a P1326. My question is, can the code P1326 also show up? Is there a different issue with the engine? Also, yes, there is a different issue with the engine. There's many issues with the engine. So if you guys don't know, Kias and Hondas are, and Genesis are known for catching fire. They're known for catching fire due to fuel issues and those that fuel leaks on certain parts of the engine and then will cause your car to catch fire. So that's what's going on with your specific car. If you go look at my video or if you purchase the book, you'll you'll be you'll have the link to the videos to my playlist to where it in two parts. I'm the only one on YouTube that showed in detail how to change your valve cover because the valve cover leaks and it shoots oil all over the engine and you guys will lose oil and you're thinking, oh, I'm having an oil consumption issue. You're probably having just a valve cover issue and it's shooting out all the oil. You're not even realizing it before any other, before you even get to all the other oil issues that go on with that car. I mean, with those cars, but whenever you do the valve cover, you have to remove and be very, very, very careful removing that high pressure 
fuel regulator. Because if you do not, or the high pressure fuel pump, because if you do not, if you don't, if you mess that up, your engine is shot. You're gonna have to go buy a whole new one and you could really do a lot of damage. So they have a lot of issues with that thing. And every time you turn it out, you hear tick, 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 tick. And if it's bad, it'll be, it'll almost sound like a thumping noise, but it's not the rod bearings. Um, also the mechanic stated that when they had diagnosed my vehicle engine, the diagnosis didn't show that the problem was the rod bearings. Exactly. That would make sense. As a mechanic, as a former mechanic, if you bring me your car telling me that it's messing up due to the recall and we do our test and it has nothing to do with the recall, there's nothing that they can do. So they can't even, they can only replace your engine if it blows and you're gonna, and again, the girl above you, uh, Miss Tatiana, Fute or whatever, or Fute, whatever her name is, her engine got replaced because her engine failed. Your engine didn't fail. You just think it's failing because you hear some sort of ticking. They can't replace your engine unless it fails. Um, uh, the diagnosis didn't show up that the problem was the rod bearing, but I took my vehicle to get the engine light checked again, and it still shows the P, still shows the code P1326. Yeah, if wherever you took it to go to uh, find out the code to P1326, you just Google the code and it'll tell you what's wrong with your vehicle. Then you can go and fix it from there. Also, Carl, the dealership had also replaced the knock sensor as well and the car still went into limp mode. That's not limp mode. It's like a form of limp mode because if you already have the KSDS and anything goes wrong with the engine, if, it, if, if it's starved of fuel, which it sounds like that your issue is, then it's immediately going to just stop moving and it's not gonna move. It's gonna, it, it physically can't move that fast because it's being starved of fuel. So your issue does not sound like a rod bearing issue. And they told you that. And if you have the KSDS, then if it is a rod bearing issue and it blows up or it, like this other girl, then they will fix it. So let me read to you. Uh, and again, a lot of people think that something's going wrong with their car and they go, oh, go ahead, fix my engine. No, I got the KSDS, you need to fix my engine. And then dealerships are like, hey, you don't have a blown engine, so I can't do anything. So moving on to the next girl. She, it looks like you guys comment at the exact same time. So she said, my 2014 Kia Forte engine blew on the highway. See, there's a difference between, hey, I hear a ticking noise, I brought it to the dealership, and my engine blew. So her engine blew at, at 92,000 miles on a Kia Forte. Her engine blew on the highway, right? Very dangerous. This is why I got rid of my car, because I said, I'm not gonna be on these Texas roads, which are 70, 80 miles an hour plus, and be driving my daughter to, as a Kia, as a Kia Soul drives by, driving my daughter to volleyball and then the engine blows. And, and you know what I mean? God forbid. And then, you know what, you know, what happens? You know what I mean? I could only imagine how scared you must have been when your engine just blew on the highway at only 92,000 miles. Uh, once we safely parked my vehicle, mind you, so thank, thank God you got safely parked. Safely parked the vehicle, the engine had a loud rod knock. You can hear a rod knock. You can hear a rod knock. You don't need a, a, a any type of tool hearing device to hear a rod knock. Uh, took it to the dealership immediately. And after two weeks, I have finally gotten word yesterday that the engine has failed all the tests and is being replaced for free under the recall note. They will only, now this, this tells me that she happened to have the KSDS. Let me continue. Taking this into consideration, I do, oh, I'm sorry. See, she doesn't take, and this is what I put in the video yesterday. So this this is this is God showing you guys. I can't make this up. This is actual comments right here on this video, on this latest video, the one where I'm like this on the phone. Because just because you don't have the KSDS doesn't mean you can't get your engine replaced. It just matters on each dealership. Some dealerships are scumbags. Some dealerships will do you right. They're doing her right. So let me finish. I'm gonna finish it and then I'll then I'll get into it. Uh, uh, my 2014 Kia Forte engine blew on the highway at 92,000 miles. Uh, once we safely parked my vehicle, the engine had a loud rod knock. Uh, took it to the dealership immediately after two weeks. I have finally gotten word yesterday that the engine has failed all the tests and is being replaced for uh, for free under the recall notice. Taking this into consideration, I do not have the KSDS update installed on my Kia, so I was very nervous and sure I would be denied. I had called corporate previously to review my options if denied, and they told me it was very rare to get a free engine with no update installed. God is on my side, and I feel very blessed. I hope this helps anybody out there. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you see this video, Miss Tatiana. I hope I'm not ruining your name. I hope you see this video. I'm so glad that you left that comment. I'm gonna pin that comment right now. So I'm gonna pin that comment right now. I'm gonna pin it, pin that comment. 
I'm gonna say, he says, comment pin, where did it go? Can I reply to it? And I'm gonna say, thank you so much. I'm literally a video replying to this awesome in a target. I pinned, awesome, 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 awesome. I couldn't ask for better, for uh for better viewers, better subscribers. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Look at it. It's already up to 83 views, man. This video is doing very well. Oh wow, somebody else just commented within since I've been on the uh video with you guys. They said my vehicle has 97,000 miles and it has been burning oil like crazy. I purchased this vehicle with only 50,000 miles and I have a refill every two and a half thousand miles. Exactly. Mr. Pena, Rick, Rick Pena, get the book, man. Get the book. Have all this information. Sounds like that you're late to the party because you might not be lucky like like Tatiana who didn't have the KSDS, but what I like about what Tatiana did, she called corporate. Like she stated in her comment, which is now pinned on that video. She called corporate and was like, hey, listen, I got this issue. And they told her it's very rare that people get their engines replaced without the KSDS, but whatever dealership she's at is doing right by her. So kudos to that dealership. Thank you for doing right by people because you know darn well that all that her engine failed due to the recall and just because she's the second third or fourth or fifth owner of that car and didn't know that there was information out there that she needed the ksds in order to get it because that's your guy's loophole to screw people sorry it's pissing me off but thank you they did right by her and you can have it done right by you and the last video i tell you i tell you i tell you what to say to the dealership and i tell you to call corporate and tell them like listen okay you're gonna deny me i'm gonna end up calling corporate because I'm telling you right now, corporate is doing damage control. So if you call corporate and say what's going to happen, they kind of might look out for you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Because not a lot of people, people just quit. People just get denied and they just quit. So this is why you got to stay on them. And this is why I recommend my book because it comes with all the information, videos just like this. This right here will be in the... um. This right here will be in the playlist. So if you buy the book, you will be able to see this video. You will be able to read other people's comments. You will be able to read this comment. You'll be able to click the link, see this in the in the in the playlist of the book, and then and then be like, nope, nope, nope. This lady right here got her engine replaced. This lady right here got her engine replaced. This guy, Carl's Garage, told me that just because I don't have the KSD is does not mean that I can't get my engine replaced. All right, guys. So I hope you guys appreciate this. I'm gonna just send this video up. I'm not even gonna edit it. I'm just gonna put it up there. Again, thank you, Tatiana. Thank you, God's plan for commenting. But again, I just gave you guys two examples of somebody who's, who hasn't, who went to the dealership, who doesn't have a blown engine and who doesn't have a, uh, a rod bearing recall issue, but thinks they do. That's different. Even when I had my valve cover gasket uh, video and I called my local dealership and I said, hey, I got oil shooting out everywhere. Can I bring it in? They said, no, you just need to change your valve cover. Your engine hasn't blown. So I had to change my valve cover. It took me eight hours. I filmed the whole thing. It's in those links. Either you can go and find the videos yourself. Everything is available. Or you can purchase the book and get everything in one shot. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'm going to go handle some other business. Please comment, 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 comment on this video. I think I'm going to put this video out too. Since both are doing well, I'll put this video out too. So guys, go ahead. Go check out all my other videos. Get that book. And let's just keep helping people. Keep commenting. Let's keep helping people. All right, guys. Be basic. Peace. <laughs> Dum 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 d